been I've been dragging my feet hosting this show lately. Mm-hmm. I apologize for that. I've been suffering from a little bit of acid reflux. I didn't want to go public with it. But, yeah, you're you know, brave though. I know. You're, we're way, gonna fight this thing. This Nick. way, little kids that mm-hmm. have acid reflux, mm-hmm. they hear you say the n word, and they're like, "I can do that one." My uncle just got cancer, esophageal cancer. Oh and, shit! And it's uh, there's just no chance. So like he's, they're like. Oh, yeah. You're what are the symptoms of the acid reflux and also esophageal cancer? The symptoms of esophageal cancer, I guess, are like thinking you have the flu for six months and ignoring the tennis ball-sized lymph nodes on the side of your head. <laughs> yeah, that, is, <laughs> that might yeah. be a little, <laughs> little something. Those are the, yeah, have, yeah. Just, uh, constantly... Having like 12 beers. Right, yeah, having like 35 beers to <laughs> yeah. call your stomach pain. But no, <laughs> he just said, I guess like I'm like genetically predisposed to a little bit of uh, acid reflux. It's just, you know, it just it just feels like a cold burning sensation in my chest. Interesting. Mm. It goes up to you know like my throat, and it's like there's a hard lump in there. And then when it gets worse, sometimes I'll like burp, and you can feel like the just stomach acid like splash oh, up yeah. into the back yeah. of your throat. Yeah, well, sure. I've, I've had that. You ever wake up in the middle of the night and you feel like you're yes. throwing up? Uh-huh. Yeah. But it's I think everything I say, Stop goes yes, 100%. two three words in. He's like, exactly, yeah, I know exactly. Of what course, you're talking but it's about. like you you wake up and you got this, and something's in your throat. It's like uh-huh. you cough up this stomach acid or whatever it is, and then you just swallow it. Well, here's what it is. Yeah, you filled your. We have filled our stomachs so to the brim, <laughs> really, that there is shit coming. It's literally a space issue, I believe. Wow. Where it's like there's fucking cheeseburger <laughs> debris all the way up into your Jesus throat. Christ. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that's really what it is. When you're this fat and you don't usually get heartburn and that right. kind of shit. Yeah, I don't. It's because you've overstuffed yourself to the point that there is that nowhere. That sounds right. I don't know there if is that no, is right. Scientifically, it's correct. Now, here's why I know. Because yeah. if I take a real fat shit yeah. before <laughs> I fall asleep. Not a problem. Yeah, sometimes I know when I go to sleep and I haven't shit. shit. I know there's a huge You're problem. You're backing coming. that shit up. Bro. No, it's it's, it's literally a, shit yeah. coming out of your mouth if you really no. Because then sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm just like something's wrong and I don't <laughs> yes. know what it is. I'm sweating. I'm, I'm sweating. Cold sweating. Yeah, and I don't know if I should go to a hospital. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. Yes. And then yeah. you shit and you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, and then you it. shit and then you're okay. I've for never, a bit. I've never had to wake up to shit ever. Are you kidding? Never really? once in my life. Oh, I've woke. There was a period of my life. Piss. Where it's an emergency. Every piss, yeah. piss every night. Yeah, yeah. six but, times a night. Mm-hmm. No, there's there was a period of my life which you know comes comes in and out where I wouldn't even have to set an alarm. It would be I would just wake up shitting and needing to shit in a cold sweat. Yeah, the first thing I remember is my asshole clinch. I'm waking up <laughs> from the power of my asshole clinching. Yeah, the turd. That's trying to escape, and then and I. And then run if you out. go to sit down to shit and you can't shit, you go. I have a whole oh, that's a, world of hell. That's right. You, that's you about, have to give birth to a turd. And then there's something. <laughs> yeah. There's something weird about yes. it being like two a.m. Yeah. Yes, dude. And it not being sick. Like if you sit down at six thirty on the toilet, you're like, all right, other people are awake. Right. I wish. This I is, feel like yeah. I'm not contributing, but I have. No understanding of what you're talking <laughs> yeah, about. This is it's, like like you're, it's like you're describing something out, outside of the visible spectrum of light. Yes, exactly. You're, you're both <laughs> effusively talking about a color. We that can see it's a feeling that you... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a an feeling. emotion you'll never know. Is there a German it's, word for this type <laughs> yeah, of thing? Yeah. <laughs> people know it. People have felt oh, it. Oh, uh, scheiße gestalt. It's, fe- yeah. there's it's fear. It's only something that, you know, it's a turd. It's, it's an uneasiness. <laughs> there's fear, There's but there's also a strange... Satisfaction and relief. Yes, it is part of the 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 purging cycle. This is our specific kind of eating disorder. Have you ever seen a Where spider purge from our mouths? It comes out of our ass. Have you ever seen a spider molt and it just sheds its skin and it becomes another spider? Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's kind of what Stop Rose and me dude. do. I feel like that's a what it is. Man after that shit comes yeah, out, yeah, you shit out a person. <laughs> have you ever have you ever <laughs> weighed is, yourself this is before? To me, I don't know. Have well, you ever I mean, weighed I'm yourself so, before you shit cucks. and then yeah, after the shit? Well, I'm, have you ever weighed yourself before a shit? And I've never weighed shit? myself before or after <laughs> yeah. a shit or any time. I've never gotten on a scale and was like, well, what is it? Yeah, What's yeah. the number today? I, yeah, I don't need to know. Yeah, no. I don't really want to know. I, I just, it's, I go by uh, like how the clothes fit and how the airplane sure, seat feels. Sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. If I need to ask for the extender. <laughs> yeah, if the people, <laughs> no, 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 if no, no, the no. people in the row complain <laughs> to the flight attendant right. in front of me. How heavy the sign yeah. is when they see me walking to that middle seat. That's how <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm I mean, I'm people getting. literally now will do like a, they take a deep breath and they go <laughs> <sighs> like they're preparing themselves for war, like it's Game of Thrones. My sister when I sit said down. she sat next to a guy that got two seats. 
just mm-hmm. out of respect for respect everyone else him. on the train. Honestly, plane. I I want to live that lifestyle. I yeah. just be that's a baller. I want to get a row. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you're gonna row. be amazed. It's just there's like a, a couple like in a row, and that guy comes by and he's bought both <laughs> tickets, but he did, waited for a seat assignment, and he's like, "Excuse me, so can you move so I can be fat as shit?" <laughs> <laughs> Would you mind moving so I can be just I'm actually yeah. irresponsibly? To be fat as shit in that <laughs> yeah, just I I I just want to be here with myself. Yeah. Yeah. I'm traveling with my yeah. hundreds of pounds yeah. of excess. Body I actually fat. own this part of the plane, <laughs> yeah. so if you could move, that seat is for my thigh and nuts. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, uh, if you could move, yeah. my thigh and left nut are sitting there actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But everyone's um, gotten so fat now mm-hmm. that I'm Every less single embarrassed. Person. Everyone, a lot of them, Nick. A lot of them are fat. <laughs> yes, and on you. a beach, I don't feel bad on a beach anymore. No, well, unless it's like Miami. I've yeah. never felt bad. You know, on be a, beach. But a fun but move is to be like a trash. fat wigger, and you get on a plane, and you find like the only person that's fatter than you, and be like, "Damn, man, <laughs> peep how big this bitch is. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker big as shit. <laughs> Damn, you fat as hell, son. <laughs> Just roasting him the whole plane." Yeah. Right. You're, just right You're shitting him. on him. Can You're you all so down? fat. Bing, bing. People yeah. keep calling the flight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sir, please be quiet. No, Settle I'm just in. saying he's fat. <laughs> <laughs> My man, fat as shit. Sir, please, your cookie monster fitted. The bill is backwards and hitting the person. Yeah, I went you in to Kmart and I got starred up, man. <laughs> I starred up my my looks. 